All right, so I got a little optics kit from EUDAX. Interesting logo. Uh, so physics, goal experiments, and measurements, stuff like that. So I teach science, including physics, at our homeschool co-op. And um, Dick is one of our subjects. We also cover that with younger kids um but not so much the uh, you know doing measurements but it's nice to show the um, refraction stuff like that so i thought um this would be helpful um having a couple different type lenses to be able to uh, show um, how light refracts the different surfaces of the different lenses here and then we kind of have a makeshift mirror um, plastic but enough to be reflective here for the mirror effect um, so you know we are should be somewhat familiar with how refraction happens that light travels different speeds through different materials and so this is what this is going to demonstrate so i've actually used a model just like this i don't know if it was the same brand um, and so i decided to get this for the school to have and so this um at least the listing said triple a's uh, and that seems to be fitting in here so to AAA batteries, and I can see there's already lasers firing off here, so I guess I should have checked that those were off before I put this on. Yeah, oh, I'm doing this right. Just for some reason, it doesn't seem to want to go in, but let's turn these guys off now. There we go. Um, what am I missing here on the on the lid? What am I missing? There we go. No, nope. still just need to press it down enough. Okay, there we go. Now we have. Hopefully you can see them, three laser beams. And if you look carefully, they are not exactly parallel. So what I need would need to do is get a screwdriver and um, can I do it with my finger? I can, okay. So work to get these sort of all lined up so they're nice and parallel. Helps with making measurements, things like that. But uh, we'll just go with that for now, <clears throat> and I'm going to just turn this other light off and see how that, oh, there we go. So, so we can kind of look at um, how they're refracting, and so with a curved mirror like this, see the beams coming together there at the focal point and that is why it's important if you're really you know trying to do this right having these all nice and parallel because then they will converge in one nice little spot and then you can have your diverging lens where everything's spreading apart and you have a virtual image back here and so what's really nice is that you can put paper down do actual ray tracings and then figure out where your focal point is, make those kind of measurements and do things like that. And then we have the uh, over here where you could just kind of create this interference pattern and get scattering uh, of all of that. And then we have all these different <clears throat> uh, lenses. So, you know, your traditional converging lens here. And this is just bugging me. I really like to get this guy turned. So we can actually see this work. There we go. 
So now we can determine the focal point from this lens, measure distances, things like that, and understand um, the properties of our lens. And then we have other, uh, we can have a diverging type lens. And you can do these ray tracings back and find the focal point back here, that kind of thing. Um, so we have other. Oh, so that's okay. There we go. Different types of uh, shapes of lenses. So this one looks to have some kind of finish. So it's doing some re more reflection here, but you can still find its focal point there. And then what's interesting is kind of combining so we can converge and then diverge and have all kinds of fun things going on with lenses. It's like that. We've got uh, that kind of piece. And so here you can start looking at Snell's law, look at the angles of refraction here, and if you are precise about it, figure out the index of refraction of the material. And and you can also you know, show that there are reflections and refractions happening. And you can also eventually get to point of total internal reflection. Ooh, that's interesting that you can sort of see it happening right there. Interesting. So uh, what else did we have? Um, what was that triangular lens? It's interesting. Different types of things happening and interactions going on. And you can just do one beam or two or whatever you want to do. So you can really have some fun showing interesting optical effects with all of those different things. So gives you a array of uh, things that you can do. So it is a pretty good kit, especially for the price and uh, should work well for our class. Being able to um, let the students get some hands-on, um, you know, relatively safe here with a pretty low power laser. So as long as they're not doing something silly, they should be uh, safe doing this. So um, again, different types of lenses to play with. So I like it. Hope this is a helpful look for you. Have a great day. Take care.